Olympics. Mm. Well, I think John, these, these, are, these are the conditions which ideally suit Jakob Lasek. Uh, he's got everything to go for. He's playing on a fast court surface, which suits his style of play. He hits the ball fairly flat, hits it aggressively. But of course, he's a fine athlete behind it. Uh, he's played a lot of ice hockey as a youngster. His uh, favorite pastime now is uh, surfing. Keeps himself in superb shape, very fast. Behind the powerful serve, he backs up uh, that with a, a sound volley. So this is putting immense pressure on Mendel. And as he has everything to go for, Lasek, whereas Lendl is very much in the defensive situation. Gunter Bosch there, commentating from courtside. The German TV, of course. And his protege, unfortunately, Boris Becker, no longer coaches him now, of course. He's not able to play in this tournament through uh, flu. It's a great pity for the event. However, the spectators are being treated to a fine match here. 5-6, Lendl serving to save the first set. Could you just sit down, please? Any seat will do. Slight hesitancy, which has been apparent all afternoon from Mendel. Lasek in here. He tries a drop volley, it's too high over the net, it's too deep, it gives Lendl too much of an opportunity to get up to the ball. A right shot, but the execution a little bit lacking. Didn't take the chance to come in, Lendl, when he had it. Short ball. Giving us, I think, a further clue about what he's thinking. Not the confident Lendl that we're used to seeing because of the knife edge tennis that you have to play in these conditions against such an opponent, giving you no rhythm. is more and more apparent and for the first time Lendl faces a break point it's also it's also for classic a set point Tension is apparent there, isn't it? Good first serve, though. Well, now that was better, quick, quicker footwork from Lendl who has been looking too slow generally, but 
here he gets round it and drives the ball away from him low enough to force the error. Too often today he's been hitting it high over the net. And the one that got away from Plasek. Best of times, the tie break is something of a form of Russian roulette. And it's a nerve wracking thing, and neither man at this stage can say he's playing with supreme confidence. It hasn't been that sort of match. a little bit of luck or a moment of inspiration could easily turn it one way or the other. Risky attempt to stop volley there. Well, consecutive net cords here, forehand, and he moves in quickly. It's a cross court shot, and at full stretch, he tries the drop volley. A dangerous shot, a difficult shot to play. serve straight at the body and I thought the miss hit was going to work going to Bresnik the coach of Jakob Plasic sitting there looking as anxious as Tony Roach in Lindell's camp Rally of the match. Superb rally this by both players. Lendl at full stretch there manages to control the ball. It's a high lob, the right shot by Lasik. And again at full stretch, Lasik controls the ball there, though. That was the error. A little bit slow to move forward to that volley there, Lendl. 2 3. I thought for a moment we've seen the moment of inspiration that I was hoping to see from one of them when Lendl tossed up that excellent lob that got him into the driving seat on the rally, but he couldn't quite close it out. Still a little bit slow. Drive by three all. No wonder he winced, and I'm sure. Lendl drew in a sharp breath there. Yes, both players now are, are going for the lines. And Tony Roach. Watching hopefully there, I think, would be the de description <laughs> that one would... <laughs> as John Barrett was saying, these sets turn on invariably almost a little bit of luck. But it's important that a player is bold is prepared to gamble, particularly on a fast court. As soon as you're apprehensive, 
it's difficult to make the shot. So a three all point here. Lendl would like a big serve. Well, full marks to Lendl there. He had to play a ball that hit the top of the net and he controlled it to a perfect length. And the finesse from Plasek failing, so no breaks yet. Yes. Good volleying by Lassik, and Lendl does well, but what a heartbreaker to see such a fine forehand pass be covered so easily at the net by Lassik. These are moments for steady nerves. Lendl was a bit lucky to get away with that twice. He, twice he had inviting balls that most players would have accepted gratefully and charged in on such a fast court to the net. But it just shows you what you do in moments of crisis. You revert to type and essentially he is a backcourt player, happiest controlling the relish from the back of the court. Five all. Six, six, five, Lendl. So now, for Lendl, a first set point. Classic, remember, had one in the 12th game. You will be Why, please? Zets by now, six all. Beautifully competitive tennis this is now. And played at breakneck speed. I was thinking there, John, how cool Lasek was on that point because the return from Lendl really was a very fine return. Hit hard, low over the net, but he didn't fluster. He just watched the ball, placed it back deep, controlled the point from the net. And here we are at six points all. It's anyone's tiebreak. We haven't had one point as yet against the serve. First serve. Yes. The serve too short. Seven, six, seven, six. Marvelous example of taking your chances when they're given you, and the, the chance was presented by Classic from the moment that ball landed short, and you failed to uh, follow it in. So it's a second chance for Lendl, a second set, uh, set point. <laughs> 